Hi, my name is Neve Curry, also known as Colour Hive. I'm a portrait and mural artist. In this series, I'm going to show you how I make a portrait drawing. So you can draw your favourite characters, celebrities or family members, whoever you want. I will go through all the materials that I use and the methods that I use to construct a head. Line drawing, shading and values and detail. Portrait drawing takes a lot of patience and practice. But if you stick with it, you'll see yourself improve in no time. The key point I want to make is, if you make a mistake and you're able to realise, you're able to see where you went wrong and you know what you need to do to improve, then you're on the right path. We learn from our mistakes and it's really important to remember that. Um, I've been drawing portraits for a long time and I still go wrong, so don't give up. So let's get started. So these are the materials that I use. I use uh, Neatrim charcoal. It's really good quality charcoal. You get a pack of five for 860 and I got these in Cork Art Supplies. Um, I use the B charcoal to start off the drawing to do the rough work. And I, when I get into a bit more detail, I use the HB. And then to finish off the drawing, um, I use the H. Um, I also got this really cool stylus, but you don't have to, to get this or anything. Um, I just got it because it's handy if you're down to your last bit of charcoal and um, it's too short, it gives you a bit of length. Also, if you don't like the feel of charcoal, which I don't, and I love using charcoal, but I hate the feel of it, um, then it's really handy as well. Um, I also use a putty rubber. This is a really important tool. Um, it's you, you don't just use it to erase, you use it to draw as well. Um, you can mold it into whatever shape that you want. So if you're doing like really detailed parts of the eye um, and you need to move charcoal around or whatever, you can you can shape it into whatever shape that you need. Um, so that's really important tool. Um, I also use a sponge and a paintbrush to blend the charcoal. If you're like me and you hate the feel of char rubbing charcoal into paper, then use these because I, I just really can't stand rubbing charcoal into paper. It drives my teeth mad. Um, so this is what I use instead of my fingers. Um, I also use a sandpaper, a fine grain sandpaper to get the point I, I need on the charcoal. It's really, I can't stress it enough, it's really important to have a good point on your piece of charcoal when drawing um, to give you better control and for getting those finer details, it's really important. Um, so I usually use an X-Acto knife to carve out the point and then I use the sandpaper um, to get a better point on it. Um, and this is the paper that I use, it's a Fabriano paper, uh, it's nice heavy paper and it's nice and smooth and it's really good for drawing. So that's everything. Um, let's get started on the drawing then. So today I decided to draw Will from Stranger Things because I love the show and I'm re-watching really it at the moment. I start mapping out the head by making a circle. I'm using the B charcoal and it's Neatrim charcoal but you can use whatever charcoal is available to you. Thank you. 
So then I roughly find the centre of the circle and that should give you roughly where the eyebrow line is. So the bottom of the circle is the bottom of the nose. So if you measure from the bottom of the nose to the eyebrow line, it should give you the distance from the eyebrow to the hairline. And the same measurement should give you from the nose to the chin. Then halfway between the nose and the chin should give you the bottom of the lower lip. So now I'm going to find the centre line and his head is slightly tilted so I'm going to draw the line slightly at an angle. So now I can see that the eyebrow line is um, slightly off so I need to fix that because his head is tilted. So now I'm finding the point on the eyebrow where the head turns in. You have to remember that the head, the face is not flat. Um, it, the head is curved, so you have to keep that in mind. So all the lines that I'm drawing to mark out the eyes and the eyebrows are all curved lines. And this is roughly where the eyes will be. So now that we've all these points in, we can start connecting them up to make the jawline and the side of the head. So I'm just using the, the mouth there to find the turn in the jawline. All these um, measurements and proportions will have to be tweaked to find the likeness but we can we can do that when we're doing the line drawing in the next video so I'm just going to find the bottoms of the ears now and they're roughly around the same height as the nose so I'm use, I used a curve line to try and find the bottoms of the ears I'm just going to fix up this mouth line um, I think it needs to be a little bit higher so I'm using the nose to try and find the corners of the mouth So I'm just going to roughly draw in the eyes. We won't go into too much detail in this drawing. It's just a rough estimate to find out where everything goes.
So I'm just going to find where the neck and his collar goes. I'm just going to roughly draw it in. And then I'm going to roughly draw in the outline of the hair. And that's basically it for this stage. I know he looks a bit weird at the moment, but don't worry. When we do the line drawing and work a bit more on the proportions, he'll look a bit more human. You try this method on different faces and see how you get on. Thank you.